Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Football from Gaming Hero. And today we're playing some more Pokemon Kingdom. So we're back. We are ready. Last time we upgraded the Cookie Castle. We didn't quite get to see what happened. So I collected it. I did a little bit of expansions and I upgraded the Cookie Fountain because not upgrading the Cookie Fountain is a complete waste. Um, but we still have plenty of plenty of plenty of things to do. Uh, I actually think that we might actually still have some more like storage things or more areas. We definitely have more areas to expand because they take up so much space. Like literally there's just so, so much space. If you look here, I expanded out this way. There's still all of this plus I think more. So we definitely still have plenty to do. But, I mean, that's, that's not a bad thing. Plenty of work to do. Because I believe we are now Pokey level 5. So we do actually... We also should be able to do that possibly today. Possibly tomorrow. Um, actually, no, probably today. Probably not long from now. We will get to do the... Place the last... I think it's two, might be three wonders. So that will be pretty exciting with a few collection things over here. So that will be pretty good. Um... First things first, just gotta collect our um, train, which is so good for these rare materials. So much more efficient than the um, the wish tree. Really, the only time I do the wish tree now is when they have like that weird wish event. All right, so we need axes. We have axes walking, so we should be able to collect those soon and send off the train on its way. But yeah, storage is up to eight hours. I think that might be like its cap forever, but I could be wrong. One of the simple nice things is it means we have more energy or stamina jellies to use for our episodes, which is always a good thing. Uh, da, 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 necessities. One thing, I don't want to forget this because I feel like I've forgotten it a lot, not here. Da, 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 shop. No, that was the shop. Event. We have some Kumaho cookies. We have 55 of them. Let's try to get a cookie. Oh, we'll try to get her, technically. Okay, gems, not a bad one, but can we get the cookie? Come on. It's like the worst of options left. Okay, but that's not true. I really, really don't want XP. Please, cookie, cookie. Rare material, we'll take that, but still don't have that cookie. Anyways, we have some rewards to collect. That's a long list of rewards, apparently. I thought they were less than that. Um, what else? Right, gotcha. We have quite a few things here. We have our daily gift first, then we have some cookie draws. So the mileage is done. It resets on Thursday. I, I, I'm not gonna wait. We're definitely buying a cookie. We're probably gonna go for licorice cookie today. But it sucks, because I really wish we could just get... Uh, I still have Rena. I haven't checked yet. I think it may have reset since the last time I checked. So it's possible we'll still be able to see that, but I doubt it. We do have quite a few mileage points. We might still have enough. I'll have to take a look after this stuff. Okay, first, the cookie draws, though. We have ten in total. Are we going to get something good? Maybe? If we do get lucky, we don't even need to get that lucky. We just need a couple of... Um... I think one, maybe two sets of soul stones for pomegranate cookie. It's the only one. Ooh, cookie. Muscle cookie, okay. It's a common, but at least it's a cookie. Having a cookie is pretty good. Because it's pretty rare still to get a cookie, and it's like ten times less likely. Or a tenth as likely, whatever you want to. However you want to describe it. Ooh, an epic cookie. An epic cookie. This is what it does when there's an. Oh my. What are the odds of that? for my master she's also just so cool looking she makes me think of this like she's not a main character in the story but she's like this side character that's just reveals to be super powerful oh what are the odds of that well i mean i can tell you the odds of that straight up um if we look over here wait what huh you know that come out lower likelihood i guess actually no she's the same likelihood that was a 0.16% chance. Well, I guess we're going to be getting two epic cookies like I originally wanted to. And it won't even cost us very much. Plus, strawberry cookie draws. Oh. 
Well, that puts me in a good mood, starting off the episode with drawing the cookie that we actually wanted. That's great. Um, so give me a sec. We will have to do some research, but definitely lots of, lots of changing around of our teams. But I definitely need more of these axes, because the one thing really... I really like the train, but it goes through axes like crazy. Like, as you see with the one we're about to do. It just asks for like 24 axes. And that can happen almost every time. So, it needs a lot of axes. There you go, train directory. Have fun. Hopefully we won't need axes soon. But, if we go to our cookies quickly. First off, treasures. We couldn't upgrade the ones we're using. Nope. Okay. That's, that's what, and now we're really close to getting to, to two star. That's even better. Or one star, rather. That's even better. Um, what was I going to say? Right, how close are we to you, Licorice Cookie? You have six, so we need 14. And then Dark Chocolate Cookie 16 away? This rate we'll have our finished team soon. So we need to spend 14 on Licorice Cookie. Yes, we're doing some serious team renovations right now. 14. Licorice Cookie's gonna be unlocked. So do we just straight up get him? No, we have to do like this thing. That's cool. Ha, huh. when you least expect it. I love that they do this intro for epics, because then you get to see it beforehand. It's unwise to get in my way. <laughs> I love licorice cookies. The evil cookies! They are so cool. And they're definitely being a part of my team. So, first things first. Max level. We're doing max level. Max. Level 24. We're level 24? Wow. That, that's kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting that. We are going to do the toppings in a second first. I'm just going to level them all up. As much as I can. Auto. Max. Only 1,700 of those. I have so many. As you see here, I have nearly 10,000 of them. I just like, it's so much easier to collect them now. So I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll head in and I'll, I'll collect them. But that doesn't work. We can actually get her all the way to 24. That's good. So I believe she is healing over time and attack. That's her like ability. Licorice cookie ability, I doubt we can get you to. No. Level 72. Or level 17. Not a bad start. Toppings. Do you have the correct ones? The correct ones for you are ability cooldown. We have one of them. Could be worse. Not great, but could be worse to have one of them. Because for the. I think the. What? The wizards? Sorcerers? Whatever the class is called. You definitely want that for them. And then for. Pomegranate cookie, we are going to give you these, which are the Amplify buff. Again, we only have two of them, so we're going to start with these two. Might be doing some more stuff later, we'll have to wait and see. We can't actually take off. I doubt we have any, but if they are set to... Oh, current cookies? Because we're placing carrot cookie with pomegranate cookie. And unfortunately, this is the one I'm a little less or a little more disappointed about. We are probably going to be replacing... Um chili pepper cookie with um, licorice cookie and then the final change that I think I'm probably gonna do is switch out dark chocolate cookie with or kumaho cookie with or for dark chocolate cookie who at this rate honestly probably won't even be like take that long all right so let's take a look um carrot or farmer cookie where's farmer cookie here oh there you are because you're up here no, she does not have the right toppings. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit, and then you, your toppings, again, they're not that special. Okay, so, we look over this list. Don't have more anti-ability. Do we give, I um, could give attack for now. Eventually, we're gonna get, obviously, the ones we want. But for the time being, since we don't have enough, attack speed, maybe... Um, HP, attack speed. Do we go for attack speed? Crit resistance. Uh, it's actually a little bit of a tough decision. I think not for pomegranate, but for licorice cookie, we're going to go with our searing raspberry to increase the attack. Because, honestly, even in the long run, you probably you still might want a mix of attack and ability cooldowns, so probably three ability cooldowns to two attack up, so not a big deal. These will definitely come in handy eventually. At the very least, these are definitely what we're probably going to want to go for with Dark Chocolate Cookie, or Dark Choco Cookie, whatever you want to call him. I think his name is Dark Choco, but it's not that big of a deal. 
It's back on pomegranate cookie. We are gonna give. Honestly, I feel like I'm just gonna give. We don't have damage resistance. I think HP for now. Cause I really don't want her to die. Maybe this is dumb, but I'm gonna give her HP. I prefer to give damage resistance, but all those on milk cookie because, well, for quite obvious reasons. Max level, maybe success failed. Of course it's a fail. And fail again. Wow, that failed a lot. Okay, so just double checking. The you milk cookie. Yeah, he's actually still missing one too. He has an attack speed. Oh, it's not very good. Whatever, so we still need some more on these. We'll get these eventually. But you can actually be leveled up quite a bit. Auto to max. We're going our full team. We're doing some upgrades right now. Um, can we upgrade you? Yes, to level 24. Starting to use the second tier, so we actually might not have enough for all of these. Espresso Cookie, she's the one that has her full thing. She has her golden setup, which is good. There we go, we actually gained some more storage. Not that my storage is very high since we started to go for um, all the trains and just. There's so many resources. We do have a lot, obviously, but still. That's. Honestly, though, that's a really big deal. Wait, we still have more things. What am I doing? We still have some cookies to promote, which I almost forgot about. But that this is a really good way to start off the episode. I sort of was expecting it. Actually, that's not true. I was hoping for it, but after I didn't, I found out it didn't switch until Thursday. The Myla Chop. I wasn't really expecting it, but this is really good news. Wizard Cookie, you're going to four star, which looks pretty cool. I love how you kind of put them back in the oven. I think it's kind of cool looking. Magic is superior to alchemy. I do indeed agree. Um, can we evolve another cookie? No. There's not treasure bonds, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Just double checking there. Okay, upgrades slash buildings that need to be placed. First things, priority are these. Your first priority, we will build you. You are expensive. Um, oh wait, no. First priority is actually building the new ones. What am I thinking? So yeah, we do have access to every single one. These should be the last couple. Yep, you guessed it. You see the white, you see the, you hear the noise. The ba ba da ba, or the ba ba ba. I don't, honestly, I don't really know. Whatever that noise is, it's distinctive. It's pretty hard to repeat. The game crashed again. <sighs> Not again. First time, I guess, today so far. Though it's, we're still very early on. Makes me nervous. We're actually already, crazily enough, the main thing holding us back is not stages right now to progress. Or for progression, rather. Anyways, back here. Decor. Come on. Let's actually place these. Crimson Badlands. Increased damage resistance by 5% to start. That's a pretty big deal. It doesn't cost rare materials. It's only gems. So I wonder if these don't cost rare materials. I kind of prefer that. 5,000 gems. These are expensive. I was aware of these. I did double check. We do indeed have enough to craft both these. This one's 200,000. This is reducing build times. This requires rare materials and 20 of them. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for that one. You also do, and we need more coins for battles. Okay, so... Those actually are as important, but I still want to focus on building them. So which rare materials were there? Just to double check, so I'm not spending those. We have the compasses, and I believe it was the pillows. Yeah, so we can still use the... What's the third one? It's, um, those. The bricks. So do any of these actually cost bricks to upgrade? I don't think so. You do. Increase crit. Can we increase train cooldowns for those? Nope, that's compass. Um, how about these? Getting up our soul stones? Nope. I'm assuming both of you cost those. Nope, your compasses. Crit chance? Sure, let's increase crit chance. It's one of the few we can do right now. Okay. So as you can see there, we still have quite a bit of work left to do with all of that stuff, but pretty good. It's a pretty decent start, I have to admit. Okay, this is going to bother me, so we're just going to start off with this. We'll get to test on our new team anyways, because there are indeed some changes. Ooh, oh, that was weird. Why did he go to the wheel? No idea. Oh, wait, we never leveled up Pearl. Kumaho Cookie. Eh. This is also auto. I was just double checking. That makes sense. It probably just goes for your highest power level, but still. Oh, except it autoed my treasures. Don't really want the invincibility one. I kind of preferred the damage boost one. No, not kind of. I definitely did. So let's look at these new abilities. Obviously, that wasn't a new one. 
We have lightning. Game don't crash, game don't crash, game don't crash. Lightning, which is super cool. Then we have healing over time, plus a damage buff to everyone. That's good. It doesn't last very long, the healing over time, but that's what I want it, in case you're curious. It's damage buff, which I think is better than healing. Plus, or then attack speed, plus it's healing over time, which is really nice. Like, it's also, honestly, that looks really cool. I like her. She's cool. I'm happy. We still, like I was saying there, man, the double combo of Licorice plus Espresso is just insane. And then we have um, Pomegranate Cookie to heal us all up, and then Milk Cookie and Kumaho Cookie to more of the, when there's no abilities, they're doing damage, plus they're being on tanks a bit. Works really well. I'm happy about this. This is great. Kumaho Cookie still leveling up on her own. I honestly, for her, I'm not even sure. I'm definitely, I'm thinking about going for Dark Chocolate Cookie. But I'm not even positive about her yet. Anyways, we have a tree, which we will quickly collect axes for. And also replenish, because, you know, axes, axes, axes. Plus, if I had to guess, we're probably gonna... I mean, they asked for pickaxes before. Maybe they're gonna ask for axes this time to, you know, build a torch. In case you can't tell, I'm really annoyed that it requires pickaxes to make torches. It just, it makes no sense, and it puts my brain... Why pickaxes? Why pickaxes? It just, it doesn't make any sense. You can argue that it's because we don't have a whole like thing, but still. And more rewards. Level up festival, that's not that surprising. We had quite a few level ups here. Hey, another roll brick. Um, on our way up to level 600, we have, is there a time limit? No, there actually isn't a time limit for that one. That one's good. Kumho challenge, one more for soul stone. And I think we're good. I'm assuming an achievement? Yes. Wait a sec. We're level 22. Why is our max level 24? I'm seriously confused. Because I knew we were level 24. Did they change how it works? Doesn't say anything here. Just the core. I'm so confused. Wait, landmarks, we're missing five? Uh, did not know that, but I'm... Whatever, I Yeah, I have no idea if that's really confusing me, but apparently we have access to that for reasons of some sort, maybe, I guess. Yeah, that doesn't make a ton of sense to me. I'm just double checking. Yeah, none of these else. That's too bad. But what are you gonna do? Wait, you. You didn't cost me before. Now you cost those. That's not that surprising. I think. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, this. I shouldn't be focused on this, but it's really messing with my head. Why is it. Why do we have access to level 24 cookies? Uh, uh, whatever. And this is even better because, yeah, pomegranate cookies pretty close. Let's change these. We'll change those later. Pomegranate cookie is pretty close to one star, which is good. And then we get to our chocolate cookie, and then we really are just fully walking out on getting those. Our goal will be to just starring them up, owning them. Which is even better, honestly. Um what else was I going to say? I feel like there was something else I had to say, but I don't really remember to be honest. I love that combo. It's just so powerful. Give some buffs. Cause like because it's over I don't know, it's not really all that over time. It's over like the course of two seconds. But it's so debatably in that sense it's just practically an instant. You get the benefits of it not being instant, but you still get the negatives. Well disappointing. Um, but I I don't know, I'm a big fan of this. I have a feeling Dark Chocolate Cookie when he comes is gonna be a big help. One thing in, right, I remember what I was gonna say. We finally have a team of full epics, which looks really cool. Ooh, I almost forgot. I was going to mention this in the beginning of the episode. In case you aren't following along, the creators of this game uh, uploaded a video the other day, I think yesterday, where they were saying that coming soon, which they did this with Kumo Cookie 2, like, the day before. So I was actually a little nervous that there were going to be, like, servers down again or whatever. Hasn't happened yet, but I would not be surprised if either A, later tonight, 
or if not later tonight, probably tomorrow, they um, shut down servers for maintenance, aka an update, because they are releasing at least about that guild battles, as well as a new cookie, which from the description sounds like it's a sorcerer slash wizard cookie, called um, Cream Puff Cookie, which seems pretty cool. Got admit, don't think it's going to be better than Licorice and Espresso Cookie, but could be. It's hard to know. Honestly, it is. But that was cool. It's exciting news. An update. Um, like I've said quite a few times, honestly, I'm happy to wait for the updates. Like, there's still plenty of stuff for me to do. It's nice. I definitely prefer that they are updating rather than, you know, not updating. But I think it's good. It really shows one thing that I know these the studio or whatever is really known for is keeping their games updated just like they're constantly working hard on those updates i think they have a lot of staff which is really good so thumbs up to you guys wait <sighs> i want to change my treasures it doesn't make a big difference but also i'm a little tempted to see who does it go for now does it still go for a special cookie or does licorice cookie do more damage who knows who knows indeed um, I'm sure some of you know. I mean, I did show the stats. Also, right, he summons minions. Like, that's a really cool part of his, like, ability set. Is that he summons minions. Like, how cool is that? He summons, like, like Licorice Cookie. He has his own, like, army of minions. And I think it's really cool. Like, healing them up. Oh, they heal back to full. This is so good. Like, you can see the difference in our team power level. I know we leveled up a couple levels and stuff and add some um, toppings, but you can totally see the difference from our team power. Like, we're just so much more powerful than we were before. Before, I believe our power level itself is also like 5,000 higher. White Lily Cookie, she's back! Oh, it's you. I have a feeling she'll be part of the trial. White Lily Cookie, what are you doing here? Those eyes, I feel like that ginger brave, I understand. Looks like she's praying. No, no. This is my dear friend. Wait, that's like the hero from the original set, and I think she was the wizard. Of, uh, like, the original five, I mean. This statue is your friend? Who is it? My old friend, and the founder of the Vanilla Kingdom knew it. Pure Vanilla Cookie. That was his name. Thank you for that, White Lily. Gah! How could I- Please forgive me! I miss him. When I think of Pure Vanilla Cookie's face, I feel... sad. The last thing I remember is him trying to protect me, which he did, obviously. What could have happened? I want to remember. I wonder if anyone else survived. I doubt it. I feel like they're gonna end up releasing some, like, super cool thing, or making it really hard. I don't know. I'd be interested to see. Maybe they're gonna... I doubt it, because this studio, once again, is known for, like, epics being the highest. But it would be cool if they released these five cookies as, like, five legendary cookies. They could even be like, hey, you can only have one of them in your team at a time, or something like that. Or maybe you can use them, but they have, like, a cooldown or whatever, I don't know. I feel like it would be cool to do something with them, maybe make them, like, legendary cookies, or sidekicks, or maybe missions where you're escorting them, I don't know. Maybe there are, I don't know. I'm still only on after all. Come with us to the Vanilla Kingdom! There is something I'd like to tell Pure Vanilla Cookie. I'll follow you afterwards. Okay. That was cool. That was nice to see you. A little more story, I, I guess. He's, is, is Licorice Cookie coughing or laughing? Because it sort of looks like he's laughing, but it also definitely looks like he's coughing. Like he's like sick or dying or something horrible like that. I know he's the bad guy, but like, I've already expressed how much I really like these bad guys. They're so, just so cool looking. Oh wait, what am I thinking? Mm, I have to go back to base for a second. We will do more battles, don't worry, but... I completely forgot, just because we can't build more monuments, those are not the only buildings. We can build another sugar quarry, two more cookie houses, the flower shop, and the artisan's workshop, which clearly is what it wants me to be building. Artisan's workshop, um, sure. Let's build. I believe we have two more, so flower shop, building you. Oh, we can't. Is that everyone? Wait, what? Um... Who's the third builder? I'm confused. Oh, wait. Oh, right. We upgraded two of them. Right. For a second, there, I'm like, I was really confused. I'm like, didn't we only upgrade one of the monuments? Nope. We upgraded two. 
Okay, wait, there's another one? I missed one? Pouch mushrooms! Okay, so we can open another one of these too. Maybe we'll get her again, then we can get her to one star, that would be good. Nah. But we did get another seer brick, you know, the one that we don't need right now, but whatever. Okay, as you can see here, it's only stage 25, so we're getting already close to that. Uh, we're not gonna do that today, but it is kind of crazy that we're already getting so close. Okay, so 4 20. So I'm actually gonna edit properly and switch you out for Bear Jelly's Lollipop because, you know, it'll be cool. This is going good though. I don't know. The building stuff, I'll probably work off camera on some of it. Not necessarily all of it, but definitely a little bit of it I will be doing off camera. I'll probably work on getting the other two houses. Upgrading them at the very least to our current level, but I think we can actually use them all. It is licorice cookie. Ooh, I figured that. He definitely seems powerful. I love how he creates the little minions. Like that just adds something more to his character. But yeah, bear um bear jolly cookie. I don't know, whatever it's called. It's like candy something. It just adds that much more. Assuming it stacks the damage buffs. It's also a crit damage buff, so that one for sure. But I'm assuming the damage buff stacks. If they don't, then that's a little bit worse. But I'm gonna assume for the time being that they stack. But it really is a crazy combo. Like, we just do the treasure, then her, then the two of them. And it just melts everything. So much damage. One thing I'll say is Licorice Cookie right now, he is weak. Like, he just has no health. Which isn't the end of the world, but he definitely seems a little bit vulnerable. So we have to rank remove something else here. Something else is in our way, which, you know, it happens, unfortunately. We still have 100 energy routes, so we keep getting more. 4 23, can we do it? That's three stages, that's a while. Um, we're gonna keep on going. For sure, doing this one, we might be able to do all three of these. We'll see. We're probably gonna end up doing all three, but it, I don't know. This might, I think, actually, no. I think I'm gonna save this because we're getting close to the end already. Like, there isn't really all that much left in this episode 4-20 it's the end so i think what i'm probably gonna do is this can be our last stage then next time we're gonna finish off episode four unlock our third treasure slot and i'll probably have a little bit more of cookie kingdom building and that stuff to show off to you guys and yeah that should be it but i don't know i'm excited i'm really excited i almost can't wait i have a feeling next time i really hope it happens tomorrow so we're not interrupted um we hopefully will be able to be playing a new update. Not sure how much is going to happen, but they said guild battles, so, you know, it makes it seem at the very least that guilds are going to be coming out soon, which is exciting. It's definitely exciting news. And with that, the boss just, just die already. Yeah, I think we one-shotted him with that charge. Wow. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed, subscribing to join the Purple Elephant Squad. It makes my date super nice, and I really do appreciate it. Let me know why my cookies can get to level 24. Is it a monument boost that I'm unaware of? Did they change the game? I'm really confused. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!